Well, brachytherapy has a rather unique place in the management of prostate cancer. It can be used anywhere from a focal therapy approach, just treating one area of the prostate, to a whole gland approach in early disease. And it can also be used as an additional treatment to external beam radiation. And we do that technique using the external radiation and the implant for more advanced tumors. A recent randomized study has just shown that this results in a much higher cure rate than just using radiation alone. And that's simply because we're able to put a higher dose of radiation within the prostate gland and target where the tumor is. Well, I think one of the advantages of brachytherapy is that we have the ability to really uh, dose paint the prostate gland. The areas of interest, we can escalate the dose of radiation to a very high, we call tumorcidal dose, and avoid toxicity to the adjacent urinary bladder or rectum. And, and this is something that's really uh, improved over the years I've been doing this procedure is because the equipment we use to visualize the prostate has become so sophisticated. It's, it's not at all unlike cell phone technology. I love to use that analogy because just think of your phone today versus a phone five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and we have benefited from that digital technology. Well, I think there's a lot of bias in the, in the medical community as to what the optimal treatment for prostate cancer is. But when you really look at the data and, and speak to a patient based on facts and valid data, brachytherapy has enormous value. It has value, overall value, because the cure rate is equal to any of the other treatment options, in some cases superior. It has the lowest side effect profile. It certainly has the lowest cost, and it has the lowest impact on the patient's quality of life.